Hi there, this is Steve with Veritas Educational Consulting. As teachers, we're always doing the best we can to make sure that our students become good readers. But sometimes it's difficult to sort through all the research on literacy instruction to know what to do for our students. So this video is part of a series that's intended to help teachers put research into practice through the use of instructional routines. This video is for the vowel first blending routine which is used to practice difficult vowel patterns both in isolation and context. You'll want to be sure that you only use single syllable words for this routine. The routine is typically used in kindergarten and first grade, but it can be used in other grades as an intervention strategy. You'll want to be prepared with words from your lesson that all have the same vowel sound and vowel spelling. It's also ideal to have sound spelling cards available to reference for students just in case they make mistakes. Since this routine does not follow a normal left to right pattern for each word, build the words on the board vertically from top to bottom. All right, let's get started. All right, today we're gonna to focus on the long I card. What card is this? Long I. It represents the I sound. What sound? I. And we're going to specifically focus on the long I sound spelled I blank E. Alright, what sound? I. 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 Sound? B. Sound? I. Blend? By. Sound? K. Blend? Bike. Word? Bike. Sound? I. Sound? P. Sound? I. Sound? N. Blend? Pine. Word? Pine. Sound? I. Sound? S. Sound? I. Blend? Side. Sound? D. Blend? Side. Word? Side. Sound? I. Sound? K. Sound? I. Blend? Kai. Sound? T. Blend? Kite. Word? Kite. Sound? I. Sound? D. Sound? R. Sound? I. Blend? Dry. Sound? Z. Blend? Drive. Word? Drive. Sound? I. Sound? S. Sound? T. Sound? R. Sound? I. Blend? Stry. Sound? Blend. Stripe. Word. Stripe. Good job. Vowels can be tricky for students to learn, so this routine is intended to focus on one specific vowel spelling at a time. It gives students multiple repeated exposures to the vowel spelling to help imprint the specific grapheme in students' memories. Introduce the sound in the grapheme by saying the name of the sound spelling card with the sound you are focusing on. Then ask, what card? Giving students time to respond. Then tell students what sound it makes. Ask them, what sound? Then tell students which spelling you will be practicing before you write it on the board. After that, set up your board by writing the same grapheme over and over in a vertical pattern. The reason we do this is because we will be blending the sounds out of order, and we want students to recognize this as different from typical left to right reading. An additional reason is so that students can see the same vowel spelling in a column, which should assist with mastery of the graphing. Point to each spelling of the vowel that you're focusing on, and cue students to say the sound. Return to the first vowel spelling. Point to the spelling to cue the students to say the sound. Add the first grapheme in the word and point to cue the students to say the sound. Use your pointer finger if the grapheme is just one letter. Use two fingers for a digraph and use three fingers for a trigraph, such as TCH or IGH. One at a time, add any other graphemes that occur before the vowel and cue students to say the sound by pointing. 
At the vowel, point to the vowel grapheme again to cue the students to say the vowel sound. Then have students blend through the vowel by using a swooping motion. Finish building the word by writing each grapheme after the vowel and cue students to say the sounds by pointing at each. When you are finished with all the individual graphemes in the word, point to the beginning of the word and use the swoop motion to have students blend through the whole word. Point to the beginning of the word again, pause, and slide a straight line underneath to have the students reread the word, saying it naturally. Repeat these steps for every word in the list. Once students understand the routine, drop your verbal cues and only utilize finger cues for students to say each sound, blend, and then read the word. Removing your teacher voice allows students to focus their thinking on learning the sound spelling correspondences without the distraction of other noises or sounds. In this video, we focused on the vowel first blending routine. This routine should really only be used with single syllable words. It's an evidence-based routine that's useful for helping students to practice difficult vowel patterns, both in isolation and in context. The cueing system gives students repeated practice with the same graphing. The students will read the vowel spelling four times in every word by the time they're finished. The focused cueing system provides intensive scaffolding around vowel graphemes, which gives students practice learning tricky vowel spellings. If you'd like to learn more, please watch my other videos or send me a message. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.